Hello guys. So today we're going to create a simple tile estimate template for estimating the quantity and cost of tiles in the US. We'll adapt it to the US standard um, dimensions. So um, first of all, let's get into our drawings and jump into this thing. And uh, I can show you that at the end of this tutorial, you will know how to customize uh, a template for measuring tiles. So this is the drawing we're using and you already know that everything is in MM and the paper was scaled to meters. So first thing we are going to do, we're going to, uh, we can decide to change this, you know, so, okay. it, it, so now let's create the template. First thing we will do is to, we click on this portion and, uh, We'll create a new tab. In this tab, we're going to put tiles. And it's T. Waiting tile. All right. So now. Click on this. The dimension. Let's just read leave it as random. So um, we're not going to waste much time. The thing you're just going to do, you go to the advanced and the first we the we already know how we measure that and the, the next thing we're going to do is so one of the ways of changing this to square foot is it's just come you just come to this place and uh, let's kill it up. Over, then we scale it. Let us scale. So, where you want to scale this page right now, in the uh, feet, and you click on standard, you already know that one feet is about 3.28. All right. So, for eight, uh, for eight, uh, eight meters, we'll be having about 26.24. So, it's 26 point 24. So, we can also find claim a scale of the current page. It's actually better for us to do that before we even start doing this. So, 26 point 24. All right. So we're good to go. Now we go back to, we measure this. This is what is string is six point. All right. So immediately you're done with this, you already scale. And then we go back to our templates and uh, now you see now, so the next thing you're going to do, because this is actually one of the simplest uh, templates you can ever create, cost per each. So to get the cost per each, we're just going to jump into a website, uh, um, an American website that sometimes I use to check uh, my tiles. And then let's assume uh, the tiles is, uh, let's say, Waterfalls, waterfalls, um, tiles, and um, we already got the price here four point two seven per square foot, and um, four point two seven per square foot. We can just come in here and input uh, cost per each.
point to sell. All right. So some individuals might decide to put up this markup, this markup percentage. You know, the markup percentage is the difference between a product selling price and cost as a percentage of the cost. You know, for example, if a product sells for um, $25 and the cost is uh, $10, the additional price increase is um, $25 minus ten dollars divided by ten dollars um, times hundred okay and there you'll be getting about 2.5 yeah about so you could decide to put it or you could decide not to all right so um i this is the only thing you're going to do as far as i'm concerned when you're done with this you already have your template this is one of the simplest templates you could ever creates uh, without having any issue so now we're done right so we switch to our templates the estimating templates and go uh, let's test it okay now we're going to measure all of this to know the total cost of the tiles that will be that's this building is going to take so first thing we're going to do you click on this as you already know and uh, we're taking off quickly taking off quickly and uh, So we could decide to take this totally, you know, instead of doing it this way, but uh, let's just do it this way and so this is one thing uh this is one good thing about plan sweep. You see, immediately we just killed these people. We didn't, we, we didn't, uh, there was no need of you coming back to create dimensions for each of these. Uh, there was no, for, for each of these compartments, you know, for each of the dimensions, there was no need. All right. So. As you can see, we are almost there. Sometimes it's better you zoom than measure the way I measure. You just zoom out and I mean zoom in. So let's just assume everywhere is going to be fitting with this tile. So we're going to fix this tile so everywhere helps. So now, now you you've seen that. Uh, the template has already told us uh, the amounts, the uh, total square foot, and uh, when we go into our report over here, we're waiting for our reports. So, as you can see. It has already told us the quantity 
and the cost of, we already have the cost of each. So now this is one of the easiest way that you could actually uh, create uh, simple templates to measure your tiles. So assuming um, you want to make it a little bit more simplified in such a way that um, the cost is going to appear here, the cost per each of uh, each square foot, you could decide to put it here. So to put it here, you just go directly to your template. You click on your template. You double click it. You go to advance and you mark this. So when you mark this, you click on OK. And uh, now it will be incorporated as part of it. Let's say you now want to take off for a different um, tiles that have different costs. Now, when you double click, all you're going to see, you're going to see cost per age so you could change it. Okay, so that's it for today tutorial.